In today's video, I am going to be breaking down how you can become an unstoppable guard at the youth level. We're going to be checking out David. He has been making a ton of top level teams here in Ontario. So let's get down and let's check him out. Okay, so in this first clip, he's using Andrew as a screen. And this defender is doing an okay job. He's trying to fight over top of the screen and trying to stay in front of David. However, that doesn't work. He gets caught up on that screen. David uses his off arm to make sure that that player stays where he is. And he lowers his shoulder lower than the defender's shoulder. This allows him to attack the basket. He's also keeping the ball way out wide so this player cannot come up from behind and poke the ball free. When he attacks the basket, he's able to go right between three defenders, keeping that ball high, which is what I always teach because that's extremely important. If he was to keep the ball down low, all three of these players would have been able to steal that ball. But because he kept it high, he was able to get that layup made. Here he is calling for a screen. There's a wide open key. There is no help defense from the other side. And this guy is playing on his heels. He's not engaged in this defense. So what he's able to do here is call for that screen. This lifts that player because we were calling screens all game. But that pulls that player out. And David is able to notice that that player plays super high and was going to try and cut off that screen. David is then able to cut back door or deny the screen and he has literally the whole lane open to get to the rim. Now he was able to score here because this man was going to try and cut him off. Lucas's defender said oh no. There's a wide open lane. I need to cut him off. But David is a super smart player. This guy's shoulders are facing this way, which means that you need to cut back the opposite direction. And that's exactly what David did. And he was able to finish with an inside hand layup. Now, for all of those old school coaches who say you should never use your right hand on the left side, if he was to use his left side, left hand, he would have been blocked. But by using his right hand, using his body to protect the ball, he was able to get that layup made. You also have to be really good at defense to be a top guard, and that is exactly what David is. He got two blocks this game. You also have to be able to run an offense, and that is exactly what David is doing here. He's telling the players where they need to go, what they need to do, and which player to cut to the high post. Our offense consists of a lot of high post touches so that we can get that backdoor cut. However, that backdoor cut wasn't open here. Big man was trying to cut it off. So David was going to cut back this way, but the pass went out towards the corner. When that happened, David popped back out. He then called for the ball because this is a very good high post and low post player. Not necessarily a fantastic three-point shooter as of yet, but he will be. So he passes it back to David, who then calls for a screen. Actually doesn't even call for it. Andrew was able to read that he wanted a screen right away and got that screen. When he attacked the basket, there was a player who cut him off at first. And yes, this could have been a kick out pass to the corner. David was able to notice that there was a wide open lane on this left side. And he is very good at going to his left with his right hand. Again, finishing with the right hand because the left hand was taken away. In this next clip, he's calling for a screen once again. Yes, we use a ton of screens with my U14s. In the States, they would be classified as U13, but in Canada, they're U14. And here, he's able to use that screen. Big man's not going to guard him. David is much faster than the big man. He would get around him in seconds. So the big man gave about, I would say, four feet, five feet worth of space. And David was able to bang that three. We ran something kind of similar here where Armin passed to David, set that screen for David. Five, it's a four out pass and screen away. We have our big guy in the high post this time, which takes away the ability for him to be able to come up and contest the shot. But also this player is not hedging whatsoever, not even paying attention to the man who shoots 60% from three. And he was able to bang yet another three. He hit three, four, five this game, which is fantastic shooting for somebody who is 12 years old. Here he used the screen, but that all that did was back up that defender and that defender's shoulders went towards the baseline. 
Here he cut back and hesitated for a second just so that he could get that defender onto his heels. As soon as that defender was on his heels, he was able to recognize that and attacked right away. When he did attack, he got his shoulder lower than his defender's shoulder, and he was then able to have that leverage to get in front. Now, when that happened, this guy's hand went over top, but that doesn't matter anything at all because who has longer reach? The man who's behind him, who's maybe got four inches on him, or David, who has a longer wingspan than him? Obviously, David, and because that guy followed up behind, and David stops quite quickly after his layups, this man ended up rolling his ankles. Remember what I said about defense? Defense is important. You have to have defense, and that is exactly what David has. Lots of off-ball movement is also key. Here we have a very low cut across the key, popping out to the wing for David. David gets that ball. They set that screen yet again on David, and he's able to take two long steps. Now, this is really important. Instead of attacking fast, he takes long, slow steps. This gets the defender to slow down in most cases, and that allows him to get those layups. Spacing the floor is also key. Here we have a hammer pass out to David, who then, of course, bangs the three. So what did we learn in this video? Well, spacing the floor is important. Being a guard who can play defense is also important, but somebody who can read screen and roll situations. But also, if you can be able to attack and read a defense and see what they're trying to do to you so you can react and score on them easier, that is going to be able to help you drastically. I hope that today's video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.